In today's video, we're breaking down the top three best free video editing software of 2019. Let's get into it. Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, or how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if any of that sounds interesting to you. Today's video, as I just said at the beginning, is the top three best free video editing software, breaking down the best free video editors with absolutely no watermarks, none of that sort of nonsense, none of that signing up for a program, editing a project, and then they tell you you either got to pay for it or you get a big old watermark on your thing. None of that nonsense in 2019. I'm going to give you guys the information that you need to go out there and edit for free. Without further ado, let's get into it. I got three picks and then an honorable mention at the end if for some reason none of these three picks suffice for you. But, uh, you know, very good picks. Without further ado, let's do it. Let's get into the video. I got firsthand experience with all four of these video editors, the three that I'm featuring, and then the honorable mention at the end. So first off, we got Shot Cut. Shotcut is available for all major operating systems, whether it be Linux, Mac, or Windows. So this is accessible to pretty much everybody. I've heard if you're on a Chromebook, you might have a couple problems, but pretty much anybody but the Chromebook users, I'm pretty sure can grab this. And hey, they might have even patched that Chromebook thing. So give it a try if you're on the Chromebook, but I assume not many people are. It's got no watermark, obviously. None of the, none of the editors on this list have any watermark, and it is entirely free and downloadable down below in the description. Super easy to edit through. If you have a little bit of background information on video editors, maybe you messed around with, you know, uh, Windows Live Movie Maker, stuff like that, then uh, you should kind of fit in pretty nicely here, and stuff is relatively easy to uh, use and to kind of navigate your way around this, but I've got a tutorial walking through the whole thing next to the download link in the description down below, so don't hesitate to go ahead and grab that. Next on the list is going to be DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is a phenomenal editor, probably my favorite on this list, even though it's not at the number one spot, but it does come in still uh, with all of my operating systems out there. You got Linux supported, you got Mac supported, you got Windows supported, 100% no bullshit watermark on there, none of that nonsense, and you definitely can do more or less anything you want in there. I think it's probably one of the most advanced ones on this list. I feel as though it's it's the most similar to Premiere Pro as well. So, you know, if you've heard about Premiere, I assume if you're video editing, you probably heard about Adobe Premiere and you maybe see that as a future editor you want to get into, then I'd advise you to get started with DaVinci Resolve. It is pretty similar to Premiere. I think I noticed the most similarities there. But again, link down below to DaVinci Resolve, 100% free download link as well as tutorials of me walking through the whole program start to finish and, uh, you know, filling you in on all of the information you need to get started editing in DaVinci Resolve, an amazing free video editing software, would 100% recommend it. Next up, the third one on the list is going to be HitFilm Express. Now, let me say that again, HitFilm Express. The reason I'm going to, you know, state that twice to you is because they offer a paid and a free version. They offer a HitFilm Express, which is the free version, and a HitFilm, just a standalone HitFilm, which is the paid version. And there's a pretty significant price difference being that one of them's free and one of them's like a hundred bucks or something like that. It's a pretty significant amount of money compared to the freebie version. And, uh, you know, just, just wanted to point this one out to you just because I feel as though a lot of people might make the mistake of thinking they're getting the free one, but they're getting the, the paid one. And uh, at the end of the day, just needed to put, point that one out to you. It is not available for Linux. It's only available for Mac and Windows. So if you are a Linux user, you're going to have to go with one of those original editors that we talked about before, whether it be Shotcut or DaVinci. And it kind of has a weird setup, this HitFilm Express where I feel as though they almost try and trick you into getting the paid version. You have to kind of go out of your way to get some activation code sent to your email and stuff. And it's pretty straightforward, but it, it's still a little weird because none of the other editors do this. And, uh, you know, it seems kind of like a ploy to get you to subscribe to their premium service, which is just the HitFilm. So HitFilm Express, by all means, a great editor, but they do sort of kind of trick you a little bit. And by all means, it's definitely not for anybody who doesn't have a really high, uh, you know, great system. If you don't have the best specs in your computer, you definitely might run into some lag, little export problems and stuff like that. I got a brand new computer, which I got a few months ago, but the previous system I used to edit on definitely brought me lag. So if you do have a system with not the highest, you know, operating system, highest graphic card, you know, loads of RAM, then I, you know, I, I might suggest getting something like Shotcut or maybe even VSDC Video Editor, which is the one I got coming up. But 
quickly to finish out on HitFilm, link to the download link down below if you wanna download it, as well as accompanying tutorials to break the whole thing down to you. A great free video editing software, just be careful of the paid version that they kinda trick you into getting. <laughs> but it's hands down the most advanced one on my whole list here, and you can do the most in there, but that's definitely, you know, um, shown by the fact that it'll lag out a, uh, a, 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 a not the most high grade system. So be careful. This is for my more advanced editors out there. But finally, the honorable mention of the video, now that we've finished walking through the top three best free video editing software, I feel as though if you check out any other video that's titled something similar on YouTube, like a top three best free video editing software, the best free video editing software with no watermark, little titles like that, they'll be telling you about the same editors I've just told you about. They might add one or two that, that, that I didn't, but at the end of the day, these are, in my experience, the best free video editing software available to you on the internet. And uh, the honorable mention is VSDC. Love VSDC. They actually sponsored a video uh, here on my channel months ago. This is not sponsored by any of these editors, by the way. This is just me giving you some pure information for free and uh, hoping that you roll with it and, uh, you know, obviously excel as a video creator because of this video, which I'm very passionate about playing a role in, you know, giving you the information about the video production stuff that you might need to create the, the sick project you're gonna make next week, two months from now, or in a year. <laughs> um, but VSDC, another great editor, no watermark, despite there being a paid version, but they're very clear that it's a free editor completely, and it's a standalone free video editing software, and they do give you the option to upgrade inside of it, but they're by, by, by no means trying to trick you into getting the paid version, which I kind of feel as though hit from R. They're kind of tricking you a little bit into paying for it, which is not the dopest thing in the world, but at the end of the day, you can't knock the hustle. If that's how they make their money, bless up to you guys. I'm in full support. You guys are still given a free service, even though you're trying to trick people into getting your paid service. But tutorial down below, as well as the download link for VSDC, the honorable mention in, you know, right here at the end of my top three best free video editing softwares video. I made a video similar to this last year, did great, 400,000 views, similar video now I'm creating in 2019 just to get the info back out there for you and uh, for anybody searching the 2019 terms, here we go. Hope you guys benefit from this. Leave me a comment down below if you do and I will see you guys in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching the top three best free video on any software. I've been Jack, have a nice day and goodbye. Okay, so step number one in the quest to get this best free video editing software is simply to go to the link I will link down below in the description, shotcut.org slash download, and download the Windows version, the Mac version, or the Linux version, obviously depending on what operating system you guys are on. Once you have installed it, you can open it up. But also, um, when I installed it, the, the particular app didn't actually come up anywhere on my desktop or anything, so I did just have to type in shotcut and then just pin it to my taskbar down here. Very simple video editor. Um, if you go down here, obviously this will be your timeline and everything like that. Look at that, I believe I can drag my timeline up a little bit. So we have half uh, resources up here, half timeline down here. So this being your timeline and everything like that, now I've dragged that over here just to adjust it to actually start adding new layers to your timeline. It is very simple. Either you're, uh, you're gonna wanna just right click here and just go add video and add audio, or you can actually go up here and click this little three kind of drop downs, and then you'll get the exact same menu that you get if you just right click. So I've put an audio layer. Hit film for Express, that is right. A, a lot of other creators would probably agree if they've messed around with these free video editing software. Hit film for Express is definitely, I guess, top of the range as far as a free video editing software, but please correct me down below in the comment section if there's another software you found that is a little bit better. And it is available for Mac and Windows. Very user-friendly interface and comes with a lot of different effects and, uh, and, and plugins and stuff like that. Now, some of the effects and plugins are completely free and they just get provided with the software. However, there's others that you actually can pay for to kind of build up your effects and uh, assets and stuff like that to, to edit your videos and make them look cooler. Today we're taking a look at DaVinci Resolve and I've got a bunch of hands-on video clips you guys can download and we're gonna be working through kind of just looking at the process of creating a basic sequence that makes sense and editing it together um, in you know, DaVinci Resolve and basically just exploring how this is an amazing free video editing software that you can download in the description. So by all means, get the video editing software down below and also download the example clips that we're gonna be working through and we are gonna be checking out the best free video editing software in 2018. 
Ah, what's going on guys? So boom, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've never used this. This is my first time using it. I've opened it up before just to have a look what it was gonna look like, um, but I, I didn't actually start editing anything. So this is pretty much my first time using this. Um, so like I said in the intro, if you guys wanna follow through this exact example with me and get yourself used to this program by downloading the free DaVinci Resolve program down below, and then also downloading the clips in my example folder so you guys can create the exact same sequence that I'm gonna be creating here. This is gonna be a simple editing sequence. We're just gonna be putting a few clips together so they make sense, then checking out the effects library here just to kind of spice some stuff up, but overall see how further we can take this 